Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'll be discussing uh, some GANs practical. Uh, if you don't know what is GANs, GANs is nothing but Generative Adversarial Neural Network, okay? I have already uh, created one playlist uh, on GANs, okay, in my YouTube channel. So if you don't know about the GANs, okay, if you want to learn more about GANs, like how GANs work, okay, what is the GANs? So what is the GANs principle? So you can uh, come to my YouTube channel, okay, if you just click on playlist, so there actually, if you see, I have created one playlist called Generative Adversarial Neural Network, okay, and here I have already discussed uh, like uh, how GANs, uh, GANs work, okay, and everything like I have uh, like discussed here, okay, detailly. So if you want to learn more about GANs, just go with this video, okay, so it will give you the broad idea. Uh, so guys, in this video, I will uh, show you some uh, different kinds of like GAN architecture, okay, different types uh, types of GAN architecture. And uh, so in this video, actually, I'm not going to discuss the theoretical part of this SR GANs and ESR GANs, okay. Instead of what I will do, I will show you the practical demo, like how we can use this uh, SR GAN and ESR GAN. So if you don't know what is SR GAN and ESR GAN, okay, so this is the full form of uh, SR GAN, so it, which is nothing but super resolution GAN, okay. And the name, uh, and the full form of ESR GAN is like enhanced super resolution GANs okay so these are similar kinds of GANs but uh, ESR GANs is like the updated version of our SR GANs okay so here actually you will get more good accuracy okay uh, more good results than your SR GAN so here if you see I have kept uh, some of the images okay so as you can see this is your input image and this is the uh, you can say output of the GANs okay so basically what happens actually if you have like low, lower resolution image okay so if you just put this kinds of lower resolution image okay and if you apply on top of this SR GANs or let's say ESR GANs so it will uh, return you the higher resolution of the same image okay so basically it will improve the resolution of the image okay so here if you see this is the my input image and this image resolution is like very poor and after applying this SR GANs or let's say ESR GANs okay uh, this is the results okay this is the results from my GANs okay and there is another example I have kept here as you can see this is very low resolution and after applying this uh, ESR or ESR GANs you will see this is the results okay so it's like uh, completely one amazing like uh, you can say uh, GANs okay we can use in our day-to-day -day life let's say you have a very low resolution of your family picture okay let's say you, you have very older picture of you so what you can do uh, if you want to increase the resolution just uh, bring that uh, image okay apply this ESR GANs or let's say ESR GANs and try to improve the pixel okay so you don't need to go for the photoshop okay so you can uh, just uh, do it using gans okay it is like very much easy i will show you like how to do it okay and if you want to learn more about this sr gans and esr gans like how they works okay uh, like detailly all the architecture and all about so let me show you one resources you can follow so guys uh, this is one uh, github okay i got so this guy what uh, he did actually he just uh, collected all the GANs available okay uh, in the world because see you have thousands of GANs and it is not possible uh, to learn all the GANs okay like uh, it is not possible to remember all the GANs uh, like how how they works okay so what you can do whenever you need any kinds of GANs let's say first of all you need to define the task what kinds of task actually you, you want to perform based on that just try to select the GANs okay and try to learn about the GANs okay so that would be better practice so let's say here I am using uh, SR GANs okay so if I just press uh, Control F and search about SR GAN. Okay, see, first of all, it is giving ESR GANs. Okay, let's say you want to learn about ESR GANs. Okay, just open the link. Okay, so it will redirect to the paper of ESR GAN. So I will open. Even you will see everything they have included the GitHub repository and everything. Okay, so just go with and try to learn. Okay, but uh, this video actually I will show you the practical demo because uh, again, uh, theoretical, but I feel like it's not very, uh, you can say, needed. Okay. Uh, you just need to learn the practical like implementation or let's say practical demo okay just do your job see this is the ESR GAN uh, paper okay you just go with the paper you will see the architecture like how it is working and all so they have mentioned everything okay they have mentioned everything if you see how it is improving the resolution so everything they are mentioning even not only ESR GAN I have also ESR GAN here as you can see ESR GAN yeah and they're also mentioning like photorealistic single image super resolution using generative adversarial neural network okay so if you want to apply uh, like you can say a, a super resolution or if you want to increase the resolution of your image so you can use this sr gan they have mentioned everything okay based on the task you just try to select if i open the paper right now okay so this is the sr gan paper so they have mentioned everything okay so you can learn about okay sr gan uh, yeah, so not only SR GAN, you have so many GANs uh, based on your task, you just try to learn, okay, all the GANs, even if you see, they have also included the GitHub link as well, okay. So, this is the resources I will share with you, okay, in the description section, so you can check from there. 
and if you search about like uh what is sr gan in google so you will get some definition so okay so here uh you can see so this uh super resolution gans that means sr gans uh, applies a deep network in a combination with an uh, adversary network to produce higher resolution images okay as i already discussed if you have let's say lower resolution image okay it will apply some kinds of neural network okay and it will try to increase the resolution of your image okay so you can learn about this gans okay from here so guys now what i will do i will quickly show you the demo of these uh, two gans okay sr gans and esr gans so for this actually what i will do uh i will open my google drive because here i am going to use google collab let's say if you don't have any good configuration pc okay so you can also perform this job okay that's why i will uh, show everything in google collab okay so for this actually you don't need any gpu okay so google collab has already uh one free gpu we can use okay even at the last i will also show you like how we can train uh, sr gan okay if you have your custom data let's say if you want to train uh how we can train it okay i will show you okay but i will recommend don't try to train the gan because training gan is not like very easy okay uh, why it's not very easy because uh, this thing i already discussed in this video okay uh, if you just uh, go with this video you will try to try to understand like okay uh, why it's like very hard to train okay uh, but i will show you the training procedure okay like how we can at least start a training okay but i will suggest don't start a training okay uh, whatever like existing model you have pretend model you have try to use that okay so guys here if you see uh, i have created uh, one empty folder here okay uh, in my google drive so here first of all i will create another folder called um, gans okay gans practical okay inside that i will create one uh, google collab okay notebook so i'll right click and here if you see google uh, collab is there okay so i'll so here i will try to create one google collab notebook so first of all let me uh, name this notebook as sr gans that means super resolution gan okay so first thing what you need to do you just need to select the runtime as gpu so change the runtime to gpu so i will take gpu okay here i'm using google collab pro that's why i can select the gpu type as well okay but if you are using free collab it's completely fine whatever gpu are getting okay you just keep it then i will save it okay simply now what you need to do just click here okay and mount your google drive okay because uh, i will uh, keep everything okay inside my google drive that's why i just need to mount with my like drive okay so the third option as you can see okay mount your drive just click on this icon okay it will mount your drive so let me connect so guys as you can see it has mounted now what i need to do uh i need to change my directory to this folder okay to this gans practical folder so for this i will open my google drive so this is my folder so youtube gans practical okay so as you can see this is the gans practical folder so i will copy the path okay and here i will just write cd that means change directory okay to this location now if i hit enter okay see i'm in the location if you want to check it just write uh, pwd okay now you can see i'm inside gans practical okay so i don't need this like now okay so the first thing what you need to do you need to clone uh, the repository of uh, sr gans okay uh, so for this actually uh, what you can do uh, i already prepared one repository in my github so this is my github as you can see okay so this github you can clone okay so all the implementation is already there okay so guys uh, see you don't have to implement this uh, from very scratch okay so it is already implemented okay i just collected the code uh, like okay from other resources and i uh, combined here okay and i prepared one uh, github repository okay so what you need to do just try to click on the code okay copy this link address and uh just right here git clone okay paste the link just okay so this is the uh github okay of this uh, sr gans okay now let me clone it okay so i have already cloned now if i show you okay gans practical inside that you will see it has already cloned okay super resolution gans okay now if you want to verify it just refresh your google drive so see this is the folder it has copied okay all the content it has copied now what i need to do i need to go inside this folder okay go inside this sr gans super resolution folder because here i have all the necessary file okay if i uh, show you 
you can open from here also if i just uh, expand it okay see the, all the necessary file are here okay so what i will do i'll just write cd okay i will copy the name of the folder uh, this is the name rename copy the name and i'll paste it here okay and now i'm inside that now if you want to verify just write ls so it will list everything inside the folder okay as you can see okay so perfectly we have uh completed now what i need to do i need to uh, upgrade my uh, scikit learn image okay so for this uh, you need to run this command okay so let me run So guys, uh, it will ask for the restart your runtime. Okay, so just click on restart runtime and click on yes. So guys, as you can see, it has restarted my runtime. Okay, and uh, reconnected again. Okay, now uh, one thing I just wanted to show you. Now if I write pwd, that means project working directory. So you will see uh, I'm inside content. Okay, uh, why I'm inside content? Because I have already restarted my runtime. Okay, so again you just need to re re relocate the folder. Okay, I I have here. So again, I will execute these two line. Uh, this one, okay, the first one, and uh, this uh, third one, okay. Don't uh, run this one because we have already cloned our repository, okay. So I will go inside SRGAN super resolution. Okay, now if I do ls, now it will list down everything, okay. Yeah, perfect. So guys, here if you see, uh, they have already provided some pretend models, as you can see. So these are the pre-trained models. So they have already trained. Okay, they have already trained with uh, like you can say millions of data, and they have provided this model. Okay, to us, and this is the generator model. Okay, so what is generator model? What is discriminator model? Okay, if you want to understand, just go with this uh, video. Okay, we'll try to understand. Okay, so I will use this existing model, and I will uh, try to uh, apply this uh, SRGAN on my low resolution image. Okay, so first of all, what I need to do, uh, I need to check whether uh, I have something in the results on it, okay? So results should be empty. Yeah, results should be empty. And I should have some test data here, okay? So here I don't have any test data. So what I will do, uh, so I will quickly uh, upload some lower resolution image, okay? And I'll show you the... Uh, uh, so here what I will do, I will quickly upload some lower resolution image, okay? And I'll show you the magic, okay? So let me upload. So guys, uh, if you don't know, this is me. Uh, this is my childhood photo. Okay. See, this is like very low resolution image. Okay. Very small resolution. And this is another picture I have taken. Okay. See, very small resolution. Uh, so what I will do, I will apply this uh, SRGAN and try to improve the resolution. Okay. Of these two images. So for this, what I will do. Uh, yeah. So everything is perfect now. Now I'll come here and uh, you just need to execute one command so this command actually i have already uh, given uh, in your uh, readme file of this github okay see this is the command uh, this is the training command okay i'm not showing you, showing you the training okay so this is the testing command you just need to execute okay just let's copy the command and come here and paste it here okay so let me also mention this is the testing command test okay if you have any lower resolution image and if you want to improve the resolution so you, you, you need to run this command okay so there is a main.py file is there as you can see main.py file i just need to execute and mode you need to define so there is three kinds of mode let's say if you want to train so you just need to give uh, mode is equal to train if you want to test the evolution matrix okay so you just uh, need to go with test uh, mode and if you want to test okay with your image okay uh, that means you want to get get the like resolution high resolution image okay so you just need to use test only mode at that time okay then you need to provide the lr path lr path means like your lower resolution okay lower resolution image path okay so it is inside test folder as i already showed you it is in right uh, inside test folder that's why i have given test underscore data as you can see this is the folder i have given okay and here generator path okay generator path means like your pretend model okay and the generator model you will be using okay uh, so that model part i am giving so it is inside uh, pretend underscore model so pretend underscore models okay inside that i have one model called srgans.pt okay srgans.pt i am using this model okay now what i will do i will quickly execute and sh show you with the magic
okay it's giving one error called uh, undefined file okay so what i need to do uh, if i come to my test data so here i have one readme.txt file i just need to remove it okay because uh, it will look for image file okay not txt file so i will remove it now i will execute it again okay see it has uh, executed successfully now if i uh, come to this results okay now just go inside the results folder now we'll see uh, it has saved uh, your uh, results here okay now if i open this now we'll see the magic okay see uh, it uh, this resolution has been improved okay but uh, i can say like it's not very much clear uh, because this sr gan actually will be getting like a uh, little bit uh, like you can say poor results but if you're using esr gan okay you will be getting like more good results okay now but i can say it's a very good okay as you can see uh, before if you if i show you the before okay the previous results sorry previous image it is it was inside test data so see it's like very small resolution okay but after applying this uh sr gan uh, like it has improved the resolution okay so now what you can do just mm, take your uh, older photo okay of, 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 of like from your childhood okay or let's say your family photo and try to apply this GAN and try to improve the resolution, okay? So this was all about our uh, SR GAN, okay? SR GAN. Now let's, uh, uh, let me show you the uh, practical of ESR GAN, okay? So for this actually what I will do, I will create another uh, notebook file here. Mm, okay, collab notebook file I will create. Then I will name this uh, file, okay, as ESR GAN. Uh, so the same thing also you need to do, first of all, uh, Try to select your runtime as GPU. Hardware accelerator as GPU, okay. Then I'll save it. Then try to connect, okay. Then you just need to mount your drive as well. Okay, it's connected. Now let me mount. So sometimes it will launch a one pop-up screen, okay. Uh, it will... Uh, tell you just select the google account you want okay so you just need to select your gmail to connect with your uh, google drive okay you just do it yeah so i will be using the same folder only so what i will do i will copy uh, my previous location from here only i'll copy and i'll paste it here first of all i will redirect to this gans practical okay then if i to pwd right now you will see i'm inside gans practical yeah now uh, i need to clone this uh, esr gan so to clone the esr gan there is a repository of esr gan let me show you uh, so this is the github repository of esr gan okay so this is the repository as you can see and they have mentioned everything like how you can execute and all okay and they have also given you the model okay here you you can download if you just uh, come go below here you will see one google drive link or somewhere i think i saw uh, google drive google drive yeah so here you'll see one google drive link just try to open the google drive okay and see these are the model are available okay so i'll be using uh, the second model okay so let me download this model i'll download it download okay it will be around 63 mb you can use any model but i will be using this model okay and uh, what i will do let me clone this repository okay so to clone this repository just uh, click on code and copy the link address okay although i will provide this notebook in the resources section okay so that you can uh, get the notebook and you can execute everything so this is the command you just need to run okay now again what i need to do if i refresh here you will see uh it has cloned now i need to go inside esr gan okay so what i will do i will again write cd and esr gan i will redirect to this folder okay all right now first of all let me check whether uh inside results i have anything or not uh okay i have one results so i will delete it yeah now let me go back and lr okay inside lr uh folder you just need to keep your uh lower resolution image okay here if you see already i have two images here 
this is one lower resolution image and this is another lower resolution image okay with that i will also try to upload my um, my my picture here okay so i have already uploaded now let uh, now my model is downloading let's wait okay once it is downloaded i will try to upload this model inside this uh, models folder okay i just need to upload it so guys it has uh, downloaded now let me quickly just upload this model inside models folder okay it's uploading now what you need to do you just only need to run this test file okay let me go back there is a test file as you can see test.py okay you just need to execute this file it will automatically pick up the model from this model folder and it will uh, go inside LR folder uh, it will take the lower image and it will apply this ESR GAN and it will save the results inside results folder okay so guys model has been updated here now let me go back uh yeah everything is perfect now now i can execute my test command okay so just write uh, python test.py okay now let me write see it will pick up all the image one by one and it will apply this esr gan okay now it's done now let me go back to the resource uh re results folder okay now see uh just wait it will reflect all the image here yeah see all the three images are there now if i open this image now guys see see the results okay it's pretty good okay amazing yeah so yes guys uh, this is all about our esr and sr gan i hope you like this okay uh, like uh, how we can use this esr and sr gans okay if you have any low resolution image uh, i will show you another uh, thing let's say you you want to train your uh, sr gan okay uh using your like uh, custom data so how you can do it okay so for this actually uh let me go back okay so for this uh, inside this uh esr uh sr gan okay uh, this repository you just need to upload your data okay so how your data will look like let me show you so guys first of all you need to create one data folder like that okay inside that you will be creating an another two more folder like train underscore hr and train underscore lr okay train underscore hr means train uh, higher resolution image so it will contain all the higher resolution image as you can see this is the higher resolution image okay and the same image you just need to convert to lower resolution and you need to keep inside lr folder that means lower resolution image okay now if, if i open lower resolution you will see this is the same image but it's a lower resolution okay so that's how i have uh like here if you see i have uh, 100 images okay high resolution and the same image i have inside lower resolution 100 images okay that's how you need to prepare the folder now what do you need to do you need to upload this folder data folder inside your srgan uh, this repository okay so let me upload it so i will upload here so it will take some time okay let's wait uh, once it is done i will come back so guys as you can see my data has been updated here okay now i will go back to my uh, srgan this uh, uh this notebook okay so i will take another cell and this is the command i think you remember train command okay let me copy the command and i will just execute it this is the training command okay so again you need to run the main.py and lr path that means your lower resolution path you need to provide which is inside our data and lr okay train lr okay and uh, gt path you need to provide that means ground truth path okay ground truth is nothing but your higher resolution image path okay which is nothing but hr now uh, once you have done this now let me execute now we'll see after some time it will start that training but it will take lots of time okay uh, because you can also set the training parameters here So once it will start, I will stop the execution because I don't want to train the model, okay? Because it is already trained. YouTube, GAN Spectacle, and my SR GAN. Okay, so this uh, main.py, if you just open, you will see uh, you can set all the parameters like number of epochs you want to train. By default, it is 8000 epochs, okay? Batch size, everything you can set here, okay? Uh, like why you want to set the model and everything you can uh, set here so uh, this parameter uh, you can uh, play with okay 
so i have uh, like shown you everything now just go with and try to explore from your side okay you'll be able to do it now let's wait uh, it will start the training see guys it has started a training okay now let me just close the execution see this is the execution okay see uh this is the epochs and this is the loss okay as you can see so yes guys uh, this is all about from this video i hope you like this okay uh, now you just try to uh, like take any image okay lower resolution image and try to apply these earth again okay so i'll provide this all the resources in your research section okay uh, so that you can practice with so yes guys uh this is all about uh if you have liked this video try to subscribe to my channel try to share this video with your friends and family try to support my channel so that i can bring uh, th this kinds of content more in future okay so uh, that would be my request just try to uh, please uh, support my channel so yes guys this is all about uh, from this video so thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time